Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Women can be attracted to different types of men. Now, let me let me expand on that. I ain't want to give you out a super long title. So basically, women can be attracted to different types of men, but at the same time. Now, I want to give a shout out to one of uh, my loyal subscribers, uh, Andrew Johnson from across the pond over in uh, Britain, uh, for suggesting this topic. And it's a very true thing. Women, I see many times, many times, especially in these conversations, especially among men, many men think, you know, a woman is just attracted to that, you know, quote unquote, alpha male. You know, they say, well, these women just want that tall guy. You know, real handsome, buffed, all of that. Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, I mean, we that's not insult anybody's intelligence. They do, but the nature of a woman is that she can want that tall guy, but then have some attraction for some short, pudgy guy who isn't much to look at, but she still get hot, or an attraction for. You know, maybe an average looking guy who, you know, might just be her friend or something like that. I mean, it's going to be different types. Women going to have several different types of men at any given time that they attracted to. Um, remember a video I did? I think it was like one of my earlier videos. And the video was, uh, you know, women will have five different types of men. And I even, um, and I pulled that from a chapter in my book, A Player's Eyes, right? Yeah, a woman will indeed have several types of men. And the thing is, believe it or not, they can have, they potentially, potentially, not always, though, not, even, um, not always, of course, but potentially, you know, she can have the same feelings for all three, just in different ways. You know, in general, I'll say it like this. A woman will have three general types of men even though I, in videos i'll say five throw out different numbers in general in general she'll have the man she says she wants you know that's our ideal guy that's that guy like you know she's sitting around talking with people at forums or with her girlfriends or you know her guy friend she put in the uh friend zone she'll say yeah i want that guy he's six foot four He's six foot four, muscular, and all of that, and he brings flowers, but, you know, he ain't no punk, though. He'll put a bullet in somebody's head if they mess with me, and, you know, but he's sensitive and remember all my birthdays, and y'all get the picture. Basically, that's the fantasy type of guy she says she wants, that's, and that's really a type. If a woman meet that, shit, she'd be like, ah, ready to go. But then, and another dude kind of in there is that stud dude. That 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 guy, he, he just look good to her and stuff. And that's that one, even if she don't really get along with him in personality, you know, she'll still go for that. So it's like the uh, ideal dude, the stud dude who gets in there anyway. And then the guy she secretly wants. Now, that's the interesting one. The secret one she secretly wants is not always like that drop-dead handsome dude or the dude with money. It could be anything. All women, I mean, this is on my phone just talking with women. There's always that one type of guy who is not on any of her list. In fact, when I say secretly wants secretly, she probably ain't, haven't even told anybody she would get with him. But... It could be some, like, it could be a woman. Here's an example. Like, you know, of course, many women like muscular dudes. And, you know, I encourage dudes to hit the gym. But I've known some women, they'll say, I got, they got with some dude and he might have been overweight. Or he might have been real slim. Um, a big, a big type of man that um, women will want is a one of a different race. You know, where they might not want to tell people. And, you know, so they'll have all this. And like I said, I said three general types, but some women can have several. They can have several 
you know, different guys for different occasions, depending on where they are. And also, science has uh, there's been many studies on a woman's ovulation period. They found when women are ovulating, they want kind of like that uh, alpha type of dude, that wolf. But then when they're not ovulating, you know, they cool with that lamb type, that like easy going type of guy. So some of it, some of it's just in the biology. You know, they're going to want different types depending on what's going on with their hormones. But then also, too, another factor is the man who imprinted them or the men who imprinted the, the composite. Like, yeah, we're going to bring up that imprint thing again. And let me just be clear. Anybody could test that out for themselves. Because I've heard some people call it a theory. I'll say, well, okay, test it out for you. See what I talk about the imprint and just test it out. You don't have to ask me. Go out and talk to some people. And be ready to hear the answer. You know, regardless of what they say. So, you know, so dude could have been the imprint. So you understand most, only a small percentage of women are imprinted by a thug. Despite what anybody say, because there ain't that many to go around. Or some women just not in that thing. You get a lot of women, and we talking, we talking going across races, cultures, and whatever. You know, they, they ain't printed by some ordinary looking cat. Hell, you might be the next door neighbor or something. Or somebody, they just, they just in the right place at the right time. And, you know, that dude might not have been a stud. So, you know, whatever imp whoever imprinted them, shoot, that's still with the woman. That's why you get some women, they they sometimes they women will be publicly, they will publicly say, Well, well you know, they ain't into that stud dude. They they want that ordinary looking cat. Cause that cat rocked a uh, uh, cat like that rocked a world. Like when women are attracted to particular type of men, trust me. All you need to do is have an idea what the imprint look like and you see, oh, I was like, oh, okay. It could be a nerd. I've known some women. They've, they've said it. They, shoot. They've been, they were imprinted by guys who would have been considered nerds. So, you know, a woman. And see, I'm kind of sharing this, not only just for men to understand, but the biggest thing I'm seeing out here with many men. Because, and, you know, of course, I'm always talking about Mr. Goodbar and all that because, I'm you know, I want all men to improve themselves. And I'm trying to tell you what actually works out here. You know, that body, that stud thing actually works. But at the same time, you know, I'm realistic in that everybody might not be able to build up like that. But that's not to say some woman might not be attracted to you, even if you see a woman. See, here's the, here's the thing. Some dudes, they'll see a uh, woman, right? Some fine woman thinking. And they'll see her with a dude. They, let's just be real. Most of these women, if they look halfway decent, if any, any woman who's like a seven and above got some man on her, let's just be real with you. Most of the time you see some woman, there's she's either with a man or there's some man in orbit. That's just a reality. So, in this case, you know, you might be an ordinary looking cat, and you see a woman with, you know, some Adonis looking dude. You know, tall, muscular, handsome, all that stuff. Stylish dresser, dominant personality. And they tell themselves, oh, she wouldn't want me, she's with him. Now, actually, you don't know. That's why I'm even doing this video. You don't know until you say boo to her. Because I know a woman now. And I'm praying she don't watch this video because, <laughs> you know, I peeped something about her. But she she was some Madonna's looking dude. <laughs> and she has, like, zero respect for him. Because I know she's checking out this other dude who, shoot, could stand to lose about a good 20 pounds. But she turned on, she turned on by that other dude. And I'm just like, okay, all right. I expect that. So it's like, fellas, if you see a woman with a certain type of man, that don't mean you don't have a chance. And I see it too many guys talk. It's like, you really don't know. You really, Until you like put your bid in or get a chance to talk to that woman, you don't know what she's like. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You got women out. Like, I know a woman. 
You know, she said straight up she like ugly dudes. She don't like messing with no handsome dudes. Now, if you see her, you would think, oh, yeah, she she, she definitely get with a pretty boy. And, you know, a dude got to have a lot of money. Nah. <laughs> Thing with her, she like a lot of attention. So, you know, she want a nine to five dude who going to be up looking at you know, telling how pretty she is most of the time. And you can say that's messed up or whatever, but it's just her. So you don't know. That's the whole point. So it's like when you see the woman, she with the fine dude or whatever, that don't mean you don't have a chance until you know. Because you could be one of the type of dudes she's attracted to. I want y'all to chew on that for a minute. You never know until you like, you know, you say something to the woman or you talk to her, you interact with her. You don't know. So anyway, that's it for this one. I'll, uh... Get back with y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.